Welcome back to this week's Temp Tech video. Today we take a look at a new, exciting scientific discovery out of Australia that may upend our understanding of time travel. Time is really one of the great mysteries, where in the many cases of advanced physics, the concept is hard to make sense of. The standing theory on time is that it is our third dimension moving through the fourth, so what we perceive as time is actually a distance. The universe seems to have put a limiter on our ability to manipulate and control time, with all general mathematical interpretations of it suggesting that time can only be moved forward. In movies such as The Terminator, Donnie Darko, Back to the Future and many others, we witness that moving around in time creates a lot of problems for the fundamental rules of the universe. If you go back in time to stop your parents from meeting for instance, how can you possibly exist in order to go back in time in the first place? It's a monumental head scratcher known as the grandfather paradox. But now a physics student, Jermaine Tobar, from the University of Queensland in Australia, says he has worked out how to square the numbers to make time travel viable without paradoxes. Classical dynamics say if you know the state of a system at a particular time, this can tell us the entire history of the system, says Tobar. However, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts the existence of time loops or time travel where an event can be both in the past and future of itself, theoretically turning the study of dynamics on its head. What the calculations show is that space-time can potentially adapt itself to avoid paradoxes. To use a topical example, imagine a time traveller journeying into the past to stop a disease from spreading. If the mission was successful, the time traveller would have no disease to go back in time to defeat. Tobar's work suggests that the disease would still escape some way or another, through a different route or by a different method, removing the paradox. Whatever the time traveller did, the disease would not be stopped. Tobar's work isn't easy for non-mathematicians to dive into, but it looks at the influence of deterministic processes on an arbitrary number of regions in the space-time continuum, and demonstrates how both closed time-like curves can fit within the rules of free and classical physics. Physicist Fabio Costa, who co-authored the paper with Tobar, confirms that the math checks out, and the results are the stuff of science fiction. For those with the mathematical stomach to digest some of this work, a link will be left to the study in the description of this video. So while time travel on paper may work out, the physical aspect of bending, warping and moving through space is another hurdle to overcome in a human's endeavours to push the boundaries of our reality. Stephen Hawking certainly believed it was possible. Despite his attempts to prove time travel were not successful, perhaps not the most sound logic in this experiment, he decided to throw a party and not invite anyone until after the party was held. Of course no one arrived. This did not discourage Mr Hawking however, because he stated many times before his death that he did believe time travel was possible. We're just waiting for the right person to discover how we're going to do it. So that's it for today's Temp Tech video. Please remember to like, subscribe, follow our socials and check out our online store and we will see you in the next one.